Only the brave travel these roads now. A thousand pardons, but please do not stray too far from the walls while in our village. It is for your own safety and ours. Our shops are still open for your convenience. Well, it's safe here. Outside, not as much, with the Gold Coast mercenaries looking for trouble. From the looks of it, you know how to take care of yourself. Honored Eraraldro should meet you, I think. He is our clan's elder, and I am his apprentice. His worries weigh heavily upon him, and I wish to unburden him. If you will help him, you will help us all. Looking to crack some Daedric skulls? I've got what you need. Yes, he actually visited a few times in the months before he died. Always came into town dirty and smelling like boots after a hard march. Never asked why. Didn't seem like a thing he was likely to tell me. Go carefully, comrade. Uncertain times in Tamriel. Only thing you can be sure of is a good weapon. Welcome to the hall, comrade. I bet you've got some good tales to tell of our war on the anchors. Sure, of course. Had me set out some supplies for him a few times. He said he was going out to Ragenthar, that weird old Dwemer ruin. I kept telling him the mages had already emptied it out, but he kept telling me he needed to go. Oh, studying it and such. Ragenthar is... weird. Unique, I guess you'd say. See, nobody really knows where it is. Physically, that is. It has an entrance near here, right? But the mages say stepping through the door is some kind of... Um... Tempo. Temporospatial claudication. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, it means the ruins inside are all scooped out of time and space. There are entrances to the place all over Tamriel, but nobody knows where it really is. Nice to see you, comrade. Our numbers aren't what they used to be. Live by the sword and all that. Sure, I remember him here, but not his business. I think he spoke with Akita a few times. I wish he was still around. Be interested to hear what he thinks of this contract, knowing the Council's all torn up about it. Oh, you know. The Guild has always been about our short, simple contracts. One and done was the mantra a lot of the lads used. Now this long-term thing with the anchors? The coin's good, but it's a big change. Not everyone likes it, that's all. Shalador found you. Excellent. I've puzzled out the hints from that last book, and I'm afraid the news isn't good. Your next trial is in a particularly nasty part of the Shivering Isles, a place called the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent. Not unless you've spent your life poring over obscure Daedric tomes. The Chateau is in the darkest part of Dementia, the Shadowland of the Shivering Isles. I'm worried that... I'm... I'm fine, adept. I'm just tired. It's become very draining to translate these tomes. Don't worry about me. I can open the portal to the Isles for you straight away, if you'll allow me. The tales of your valor at S. Dewey. Great. Good. You've arrived. Welcome back to the Isles, Adept. We must be wary. This part of Sheogorath's realm is twisted and corrupt. I'm not sure. I've never been to this part of the Shivering Isles before. We're after the final tome, though, 
So we have to assume he has something truly perverse waiting in the wings. Certainly Velost has suffered enough. Yes, it is as I said. She has worked herself night and day. And Sheogorath's dark intellect is focused through those tomes. They are like a stain on her mind. I think we have to... Wait, do you feel that? Not so fast there, Shalador. Only invited guests at the chateau. We have standards, you know. Damn you, mad god! Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Shally. And off you go! <sighs> Just the two of us. Now we can talk in peace. Ah, my little mortal. I'm a man of many personalities, but I tell you what, they're all very fond of you. The game is a foot. Or a leg. In fact, all manner of severed limbs. But don't worry about that. I've brought you here because I've been watching you. You work too hard. You need a nice little vacation. Of course! This is my chateau. It's me family's estate. Gets handed down from me to myself and so on and so on. <laughs> I think you'll love it here. Or hate it. Oh, one of the two, certainly. Up the road behind me is our guest quarters. But, but silly me! All three rooms are already occupied. Frankly, they've overstayed their welcome. One of them, though. Oh, ho, ho, just not fitting in. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell him to shove off? Catch? Such an untrusting soul. If there were a catch, I'd say it's the two of my guests are murderous cannibals. My advice? Don't let anyone eat you. If anyone tries to kill you, kill him right back. And remember, try to relax. Be wary. Talk to these guests carefully before you try to throw anyone out. Hello? I can hear Is someone there? I sent for room service hours ago. Yes, actually. It's very pleasant. Some odd things here and there, but overall... Look! Are you room service or not? What? Well, no throwing me out. Throw me out and I'll have my advocate drag you before the Eleanor courts. We'll strip you of every coin you've ever earned, and every coin your sons will ever earn. Fine then. My advocate will be contact... I'll show myself out. But I'm not taking that dreadful portal. That's a perfectly good portal! I should know! I made it! It's been so long since we had guests. You would have loved my old uncle Leo back in the day. Charming dinner conversation, when he wasn't bringing up old girlfriends. Literally regurgitating them. <laughs> Nasty habit. Well, let's see. Now that you're settled in, you should tour the grounds. We have this lovely maze at the chateau. You simply must see it. Why do I need a reason for everything? Martyrs, martyrs, martyrs! Always needing a reason to do things! For example, People like to think light chases away the shadows. I prefer to think that without a few lights, there'd be no shadows to enjoy! <laughs> oh, jolly good, you're getting it! I knew if we spent enough time together, you'd start to think like me. I have that effect on people. It's a bit too dark, actually. Why don't you light a few braziers as you go? Improve the ambience. Mind what bumps in the night now. You've faced darkness before, Adept. Remember your training. No cheating, Shadow! Don't run it to me! You good? Of course you are.
two more to go. This trial is child's play. I'm gonna bind you to haunt a little old lady in Wayrest! Does that sound fun, Shabby? <laughs> What did you think? What was your favorite part? No, 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 don't answer that. I can see by the look on your face how happy you are. Such confidence! Braggadocio! Gumption! I like that! The last place I'd like you to visit is our humble little manse just behind me. I want you to meet the family! So many fond memories. There was that one time with the scalpel. <laughs> And all of our family dinners. Ha! And, of course, you get to play with the family heirlooms. Aye, we have an old rhyme about him. <clears throat> Four lights in a row, poke one to make it glow. No, that's wrong. And, ah, maybe it was four lights in a trough, poke one to turn it off. Huh. Well, something like that. Remember, vacations are about enjoying the little Those poor souls. Your Gorals. How do you keep getting back in here? I play. Apparently, not everything is under your control. Not yet, anyway. The most beautiful part of the chateau. You can see why I've held on to the place all these years. Now, just hold on there. Haven't you been wondering why it's called the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent? Well, you should. And before I give you the last tome, before I reward you and Shelley for all your hard work, you need to meet one more member of my family. Let me tell you the story of old Uncle Leo. Ah, a mortal after my own heart. Well, Uncle Leo was quite the ladies' man back in the day. He had a beauty in every town, from Windhelm to Stormhold. As the years went by and his looks began to fade, it got harder and harder to... Uh, you know. Right. Well, not getting the attention of the ladies the way he used to, it started to drive Leo a little bit... 
Buddy! And that's when I stepped in. Can't have someone as well loved as Leo all lonely, right? So, I offered him a little deal. I gave him back his looks, his youth. All he had to do was promise never to bed a maiden more than once. Simple, really. And he took the deal with gusto. <laughs> then, a few years later, he meets me all. Cheese for the smart skeever! Leo couldn't resist her. Thought he'd have an out on our deal if they got married. Nope. His flesh melted like wax on his wedding night. Became an atronarch of my very own. Now, <laughs> all his girlfriends are rats. <laughs> Too much, I'm afraid. Uh, to be honest, it's become an embarrassment to the family. Uh, so, as the final act of a courteous guest, go kill Uncle Leo, will you? Give the old lug my love before you rip his skull open, will you? Sad to see a good man die. Leo's death just now? Hilarious! <laughs> I should make you fight Norwals on the open ocean! I should make you run a gauntlet of angry Argonian cancabines! But I won't. Book's yours. Yes, yes, well, I'm sure you and Shalidor would be very happy with your new book. Of course, the last has been the one doing all the reading, right? Send her my best. And tell her to read real close on this last one. Give the last my best. You've returned. Do you have the book? You've done it. We have them all. Now I just need to closely study the books together as a set. And we should be able to find Shalador's Island. Wish me luck, my friend. I'll need it this time round. Yes, Adept. I recovered quickly after you left. I'm just... just feeling a little weary. This business with the books you've been collecting, it's taken a lot out of me. These books are like word labyrinths. There are layers of meaning upon meaning, endless research avenues. He's laden these things with oblique references that only someone with my mastery of law would be able to understand. It's very tiring. Like I said, just a little weary. Blasted shield. What truly makes a Nord, I ask you? Well, his weapon for one, his drinking prowess, certainly, but his shield, uh, that's his true companion. Uh, blast it all. Where's that thrice cursed shield of mine? That's my shield, all right. You must be one of those Ragada who jumped me. Now you don't have your buddies to back you up. Prepare for a pummeling. Not Regada. Ha! That's exactly what a Regada would say. I'll leave your broken body as a warning to the rest of your friends. 
they will fear the name of Fuldir. I suppose those Regatta wouldn't dare approach me after what they've done, especially to return my shield. Give it here, then. Regatta or not, I owe you a debt for returning my shield. Don't think I'd be able to show my face in Windhelm without it. I've been in this tiny village long enough. It's about time I get back out there and knock in a few heads. Didn't think you could get any stronger. Fighting only hurts those that cannot defend themselves. And with the troubles the houndsmen have brought about, I thought it was wise to prepare. I see now that I may have been uh, mistaken. I hired the Colovians beyond our gate to protect us. But now, they're more of a threat than anything else. Soon, they'll tire of our excuses. The young one's eyes shine at the thought, but I won't let their blood be shed for my actions. And to act, I must know the Colovians' plans. Perhaps you'd be willing to help. The Colovians drink our wine and eat our food. They are waiting. For what? We must find out. I've heard of a courier's arrival within the hour. I need his message before it gets into Colovian hands. The mercenaries of the Gold Coast drink. He comes from the north. Search the campsite. If the courier is not yet there, lie in wait for him. I put my faith in you. Please, do not disappoint me. So good to see someone who... Are you with the Thalmor? Oh, thank Ifra. I knew they'd send help. They wiped our camp out. When the patrol disappeared, I thought... Wait, where are the rest of you? The Fists of Thalmor. They sent a patrol, but they were attacked. I couldn't watch. 
There was nothing I could do. If you're not with them... I don't know. When they attacked, it was a rout. We couldn't defend ourselves. But the Thalmor... It might be possible. This is a lot to ask, but could you have a look? Maybe someone's still alive in there. Be careful in there. There are things in the shadows. You still can. There's no telling when they'll strike again. You must be insane. Guess I won't question my good fortune. The ones I've found are dead, but I haven't seen a sign of Captain Trelano or the Lieutenant anywhere. There's some tracks, but they don't make any sense. Surveyors' camps. Hopefully some of them made it out. I'm not optimistic. After that, we should search the ruins. We could try the Overlook, but that's a far trek. The dead. You may have noticed, but they're a lot more lively here. Put one down and it just gets up again later. Hmm. If you see a... Dariel, who's there? Dariel? No, you're someone else. Please don't kill me. I have nothing of value to steal. Then you're not a bandit? Thank the eight for small blessings. My brother Dariel wasn't as lucky. He thought he could outsmart the bandits in the ruins. Now he's gone. He'd do anything to find a cure for me. But all I pray for now is his safety. I've been sick most of my life. We came looking for a plant, one that grows by the light of an alien well. They say its sap can heal any malady. The bandit stopped us, but Dariel made a deal in exchange for passage. I haven't seen him since. <sighs> Let's make this quick.
Don't think because I'm wounded that I won't defend myself. The Stranglers won't have much to devour after I'm done with you. Dane's still breathing? Then I've still got a reason to go on. I have to get that plant sap before it's too late. He said that. After all this, he wants to give up. Dane and I, what have we got besides each other? Doesn't matter what you say. I'll find a way to save him, with or without that plant. Dane, what have you done to him? Brother, we're getting out of here. Dane! Of course not. Silly of me to think you'd lift a finger to do anything at all. Well, you've done your good deed for the day. I need to attend to my brother. Excuse me. Come on, Dane. Your friend saved my life, but apparently didn't have time to save yours. Dario, I didn't think I'd see you again. 